Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and we're staying with the theme here and we're doing another way of making a menu. This time I've used the application JSON and I've created a uh, file in there which is basically giving me all the details I need for the menu. Get menu one JSON from the iCloud and basically that brings in the file. Then I've got get dictionary from the file. Then after that it's just the same as using a dictionary uh, action. So here is it in uh, JSON so let's just uh, open the file up. And as you can see on this one here, I've got um, three uh, menus in there. I've got uh, happy, sad, and so-so. So if we're happy, we've got uh, the text. Subtitle text is hello. The icon is phone. I've got the color in there. I've got the background color in there. And I've got the uh, emoji in there as well. Also, this you can have a look at the whole thing. Let's just go back to the main one there. Let's look at the whole thing, show plain text. And this is what it looks like as JSON text. So you could edit this in a um, text file if you wanted to, but it's much easier to do in this JSON app because you can you know, set it up really easily. Let's just uh, show you how it works in there. So let's just uh, get back to the hide plain text. So for instance, if I'm in the, um, so if I want to add an extra menu item, all I'll do is tap on the plus symbol and I'm going to have to put in a dictionary because there's going to be th items underneath. So there's dictionary. Let's just call it uh, Fred. That's the second. That's the last one there. And then from there, you go into adding the uh, the items. So in this case here, we start adding the text in there. So we put in first of all the subtitle, and the value is a uh, hey, hello again, and save it. So you just keep adding the uh, the items, and uh, do it in the same order as you've got the other stuff set in the uh, the menus. I don't think you, maybe it doesn't make any difference if you have them in a different order, but it's probably safer to put it in the same order. So in this one here, we've got uh, icon as the uh, next one, and then we can put in whatever icon we want. So it could be a uh, car, for instance. So uh, that's it. That's uh, how you do that there. Um, go back into files there, and you can see it's it's easy easy to get into. So if I go into this this one here now, and that I've made the changes in this uh, the menu file there, and I run this, I've got uh, more um, items in there than I had before. So I've got a Fred in there and a picture of a car, which I didn't have before. Um, the sad, happy, and so-so was uh, in there as, as before. This one plays a sound, runs a trombone sound. If I run it again. If I choose uh, happy, it starts a timer for 10 minutes. So that was my menu from a JSON file. I was looking to see if I could make this work by using the data jar application. I've had some success with getting some of the values in from the data jar, but I have managed to make it create a menu from a dictionary. It should be possible, and I'll look into it some more. So this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky, just showing you another way of making a menu and shortcuts. This time I put the data for the menu into JSON rather than using a dictionary or using the text thing. It's just another way of doing it, that's all. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.